And so we are recording. Good morning, kids. Happy Sunday to everybody. <laughs> Today we are uh -oh. a very special edition of the Kong Family Show. Man, I'm so excited today. We have, we have a true rock star on the show today. And this guy, you're going to find out just how important this guy is to your Kong and Water machine, to the health of your machine, to the health of your body, to the maximization of the Kong and Water machine. And we, we right here, kids, we are the Kong family. And we have this really simple goal. We just want to change the world. And that's what we're doing. We're doing it every day with one glass of 9.5 hydrogen rich, oxygen saturated, incredibly hydrating Kong and water at a time. And one lightning bolt in a box, one amazing guest, one incredible family at a time. And so here, here we are today, kids. It's a beautiful Sunday. The Fourth of July is coming up here next week. Everybody's going to be partying and having a great time celebrating our independence and all that good stuff. But we, we're just going to keep on doing what we do. We're just going to keep on changing the world. And so with all that said, I want to introduce to all of you Mike Scheiber. We call him the filter doc. And he's got patients all over the place who need what he has, and it's awesome. And so I want to—I'm going to talk a little bit here, uh, not right now, but I want to let you know why we've got Mike on the show because what he does is extremely important. But right now, Mike, you're in Chicago. What's going on over there in Chicago? Well, it's it's warm here, and uh, we've been having a lot of rain, uh, like uh, a lot of the rest of the country. I guess, but um, other than that, uh, and actually my wife, who is in the Kangan business with me, is doing a show and presentation for Kangan Water right now in another suburb of Chicago. So um, that's what that's what we're doing right now. Awesome. So did I tell your wife I love her today? Because she's out there sharing. Oh, and by the way, I got to set you straight on something real quick. That little lady that's in that box, in that lightning bolt in the box, she says, Kong and water, 9.5. Kong and water, 8.5. She doesn't say Kang and water. Because if she said Kang and water, guess what? Kong's water wouldn't even exist. I, I'm <laughs> doing a play off of that big gorilla, that Kong's water, because how do you think? How do you think that gorilla got so big? Because he was out right. there in the jungle. He was out there in the jungle doing backflips into the big pools right at the base of the waterfalls, drinking water right out of that big waterfall, getting Kong's water in nature. And uh, yeah. so anyway, that's why I call it Kong's water because it's Kong in water. And, and so I always have to set people straight on that because it's not Kang in water, it's Kong in water. And it means return to origin. It's a Japanese word that means return to origin. You know that, I know, Mike, but I'll bet you some of our listeners don't know that. And so maybe I'm let them know that. That's why I call it Kong, baby. That big old gorilla. How do you think he got so big? So anyway, so so Mike, first thing I want to ask you before we get started on the filtration, I want to talk to you about the same thing that I talk to everybody about. And the reason I do this is because it was a story that changed the course and direction of my life forever. It wasn't any facts or figures or technical data or scientific this or that or the other. It wasn't even help for me because I felt like I was healthy and I felt like water's just water and blah, blah, blah. Um, but it was a story. And so I like to share people's stories here on the Khan Family Show. So I'd, I would appreciate it if you could let our audience know how, when, and why did you get involved with Kong and Water? And were you a skeptic like I was? Because I was a huge skeptic of this product before I finally opened up my brain cell and took a look. Well, yeah, actually, uh, my wife and I have been involved uh, in the water with the water for almost 10 years. And uh, like you, I was a skeptic. I think many people are skeptics, especially when they hear about how much the machine costs. 
and they have to uh, buy the machine based on trust or uh, for instance, uh, the sponsor that we bought the machine from, we did not uh, get any water from that sponsor. Uh, we, we basically just researched the technology and the machine and bought it based on, on trust. So, um, uh, and like you say, um, I have always been pretty healthy my whole life. Uh, my genes and my DNA, uh, I suppose, uh, uh, added to the fact that I've always worked physically and I've been involved in sports and, and, and kept pretty healthy, pretty much in shape most of my life. Um, was not, so because I, felt good and, and, and was pretty healthy, um, I did not buy a machine to help my health or because I had problems. Uh, and basically, we just bought the machine because we thought it, would, it was a good thing and, uh, and we thought it could help us. Uh, and I believe in uh, preventive maintenance so that it, uh, on my vehicles and on all my uh, uh, mechanical machines and on my own body. So if you take care of what you've got, uh, chances are it, it'll last that much longer and you'll feel that much better for, for a longer period of time. So preventive maintenance to, to keep myself you know, <laughs> good was a big reason why I bought the machine. And I, I will say, too, that uh, since drinking the water all these years now, um, I have not noticed that many drastic differences in my health or in, the, in, the, in my bodily reactions uh, to things. But my wife has uh, experienced many good changes in in how her body reacts to stuff, and uh, her blood pressure has gotten better. And she's always had uh, stomach problems, which now have gotten much better. And um, so, um, but you know. Uh, I also um, am like many of you, where uh, I have seven brothers and sisters, and uh, we all grew up, you know, kind of poor. Um, and so, being growing up that way and really uh, stretching the dollars of most of our younger lives. Um, after I got this machine and began to tell my brothers and sisters about it and about the water and, and tried to convince them to, to try it out, uh, you know, none of them are, you know, are, have anything to, to do with it. But, I mean, I know this is a common story in families, you know, and so I'm just reiterating that for me and my family. But, um, so, you know, I do feel uh, that I've had uh, some good changes in my health. And as a matter of fact, uh, I'll just close this very quickly before we move on. Uh, I just went and had a complete physical with blood work uh, with my doctor for the first time in two years. Um, and, uh, and even though, you know, you can see, you know, I, I look, pretty good, pretty, pretty young uh, for my age. Uh, I'm actually 67 years old. 67 um, years young, brother. 67 yeah. years young. <laughs> yeah. And many people my age, you know, they go to the doctor once a month. They don't go once every two years like I do. So, uh, but in having gone and gotten the results of all this blood work, I'm just amazed at all the good results of all these separate tests 
that were done uh, in my blood. I mean, I, I'm just so happy uh, to have it show how healthy I am inside and, and with my blood coursing through my veins. So, you know, so the Kangen water is, or the, the Kangen water is, uh, is really working in me, even though I, I don't experience drastic changes like some people who begin drinking it, you know, pretty sick and then feel the changes because they're, they, they get better, they get healthier. Yeah. So, well, you know, it, the whole thing about it, Mike, is that it all makes sense when you consider the fact that the human body is actually a machine that runs on 120 millivolts of electricity and hydrogen. Um, and the thing is, is the common water, like for me, my, my SD501 provides my body with 800 millivolts of negatively charged electricity and a whole bunch of hydrogen. It's like, no wonder it's making such a difference. Um, for me, the, the results were, were something I didn't even realize, like being able to sleep. I always used to sleep like a tornado. I'd tear the bed apart during the night. I'd be rolling and turning and grabbing all the covers and yanking them off. And my sweetie would have to pull the covers back to get some covers during the middle of the night and that kind of thing. I was just a... I was literally a tornado, and if I ended up on my back, I would snore like crazy, and, uh, you know, she'd always be smacking me, waking me up, making me roll over, and that kind of thing, and now, now I sleep just like, I don't move, I sleep on my back, and there's no snoring, and, and every, you know, my wives, I always say my wives, because I, I do have two wives, or the same person, but truth is we all have two lives <laughs> but um, you know I want to get into the I want to get into this the filtration part of things and, and I want to give everybody a little bit of a heads up on how I came in contact with you and why and and what ended up happening is that I had a good friend of mine that lives about 15 minutes away from me but I'm in this little enclave in in Utardia where it's called White City. And we're like this little spot right here inside of this big spot called Sandy City, Utah. Sandy City is here mm. and White City is here. And in White City, we have our own water department. We, have, we own our own water department. They have to come to us if they want to make improvements. They've got to get, it's, it's super cool. I, I never realized how blessed I was mm until I got my Kangen machine and until I, I had the opportunity to put a machine in for my buddy, Johnny Horan. Um, but I didn't realize that other people weren't getting the kind of results out of their water, out of their Kangen machines that I was. I'm literally getting, with running my 9.5 water at like a medium flow, I've gotten as high as a negative 867 on my 9.5 water. And my buddy Tim McGaffin down there in Ephraim, from Utah, my sponsor, uh, one of my heroes, um, you know, one of my favorite people on this planet, he never gets more than about a negative five, 600 out of his 9.5 water. And so Ooh. that's kind of interesting to me. But I went up to Johnny's house and I told him, dude, I'm going to bring be coming up to install your machine. Get yourself some tomatoes. Get yourself some apples. Get yourself some things. We're going to clean them off. And, uh, once we got everything all up and running, we ran some 11.5 water, some 2.5 water, did some ORP testing, and uh, his K8 was giving him like a negative 700, negative 750 for the K8 on the 11.5. And oh, uh, oh. I was like, wow, you know, but I, I didn't put anything together until we tried cleaning off those tomatoes, cleaning off those apples, and they literally sat there in that 11.5 water for like 45 minutes while I was flabbergasted and on the phone with the magic going, what in the hell? What's wrong with this machine? Why isn't it cleaning off these vegetables? Why don't I see a mm. bunch of cooking garbage in these, in these bowls, right? Because these apples sat in there for 45 minutes and the water was still crystal clear. And I was quite <laughs> frankly freaking out because I was embarrassed. Mm. Because I told him, when you see what comes off of these vegetables, when you see what comes off of this stuff, 
It's going to blow your mind and that'll be the end of it. You will know that you've done the right thing. And anyway, I ended up bringing his machine. I brought his machine to my house and I hooked it up at my house and I brought those tomatoes with me. I brought those apples with me and I brought them to my house and I did the exact same thing. And you should have seen the gook that came off of those tomatoes and off of those apples. And right then and there, kids, I realized there is something to your source water. And that's when I started reaching out. I reached out to Enagic. I reached out to my, my, my brother, Tim McGaffin. And that is how I came in contact with this man right here that we have on the show for you today to learn from, Mr. Mike Scheiber, the filter doc. Because I learned that there is indeed something very special and very important about the source water that is coming into your machine. And I just had the opportunity to go down to Las Vegas with my buddy Steely Dan Collins, who just picked up a K8. We went down there on the way to San Diego. We installed his machine with one of Mike's filters. And I'll tell you what, the water that was coming out of that machine, he was getting close to a negative 12, or a negative, or excuse me, a positive 1,200 on his 2.5 water and on his, on his, uh, 11.5 water, he was getting a negative 900 out of his Ooh. source water. And being down in Vegas, uh, probably everybody that, that has any idea about Vegas knows that they're in the middle of that desert and they probably have some of the worst water on the planet uh, between the chlorine and the fluoride and God knows what else is in there. But anyway, Steely Ooh. invested in one of Mike's filters. And, uh, and so... I think that was a, an absolutely wise choice by Steely to do that. And that's given me an opportunity to learn about this more. And, and so I, I'm just so grateful that Mike was willing to take the time to come on the Khan family show today and share with you guys his experience that he has with this filtration, how it can help you save money, how it can help your water be more beneficial because Kong's water is the best water on the planet. But boy, when you give it some really good source water, it becomes even better. And so anyway, I just wanted to give all of that little bit of background information to everybody so they'd understand how I got a hold of Mike, how this came about. And, and so with that said, Mike, why don't you go ahead and jump into what your, what your systems do and give our, give our kids a rundown on, uh, on what you do and how you do it and you know what it costs and things like that Let's, oh, okay. uh, well um uh the thing about source water and how it is uh, able to make good water in the kangan machines is that uh areas of the country that have hard water which are uh, 9.0 grains per gallon and above uh, will make uh, very good water through the Kangen machine and produce good ORP measurements for the whole range of waters that the machine makes. And I know that you, much of Utah has very hard water. Uh, the only bad thing about hard water, and, and hard water is water that contains a lot of minerals, mostly calcium and magnesium. And the machine needs those minerals in order to make its best water. And our bodies need those minerals also in order for us to be as healthy as we can be. Uh, so. Uh, like I'm saying, if you have hard water, uh, you will your machine will work well. Uh, the only drawback to having the hard harder water is that that calcifies the plates faster in the machine. So it means that, for instance, here in Chicago, our water is pretty hard, uh, and uh, we we have about 10 grains per gallon of hardness. Hardness is measured in grains per gallon. And uh, with that being as hard as it is, 
uh, we, everyone here with machines should e-clean their machine at least once every eight, uh, or I should say every seven to 10 days, no, no longer than 10 days in order to keep those plates clean. And of course, uh, once you become more experienced in doing the e-cleaning and, and working with the machines, you can set up the e-cleaning to, to happen overnight. You can do that in your sleep. It's, it's not a big deal. I know a lot of people, um, you know, kind of put off doing things like that because they say, oh, I got to, you know, this is going to take me an hour. Well, no, once you've, once you've done it enough, you can do it in your sleep in about three minutes. And uh, the... Uh, so the harder the water is, the more you have to e-clean in order to keep the machine producing good waters. If you become lax or forgetful, or if you're not really aware of this fact, and you let the machine go for, for weeks or even months without cleaning, or only cleaning, let's say, once a month, don't be surprised if you go to make 9.5 water and you you measure the uh, the ORP of it or even the uh, the pH and see you know hey the, what what's going on with this this isn't working that's why it's not working and if you clean the machine yourself enough you may not even need to deep clean it to send it in to for deep cleaning, although the deep cleaning won't won't hurt anything and is 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 always a good idea. But if you if you do your own cleaning well enough and often enough, you don't even have to worry about deep cleaning. And many people that don't clean enough have to send their machine in for deep cleaning because they, they realize the machine isn't working anymore and, and they, they don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, um, and I want to say, you know, becoming, uh, coming into the Kangen business, I began to hear a lot of these same kinds of complaints that, that you heard, uh, JJ, from your, from your client. Uh, from people saying, you know, hey, what is this? I my machine doesn't uh, the machine doesn't work, and and that is when I realized that you know it's not the machine, it's the water that you're putting in there, and you have to make sure that it is good in order to get good results. It's not just an automatic thing, and for uh, people in soft water areas of the country, and uh, you can find a hard water map online to show you uh, where the hard and soft water areas are. Um, soft water means that the water doesn't have enough calcium or magnesium in it. And so you have to boost those minerals in order to get the machine to produce better water. And I uh, can custom- I, Can I interrupt you just right there at that point for just one second? Because yeah. I'm curious about, about something, because I know that there's, there's like a little cartridge on the SD501, I'm sure there's one on the K8 somewhere as well, yeah. where you can right. add minerals or whatever to the water. This is right. curiosity. What, from what I understand, having been involved with the nutritional industry for 20 plus years and studying the simple fact that a lot of the nutritional products out there that we, that we eat, that we buy, that you go to the grocery store and you buy them on, in the bottles and you know, you're spending your money, truth is your body can't even use most of that stuff. What I'm curious right. about is for the people that need to add the the calcium and the magnesium back into their water is there a source of calcium and magnesium that the body can actually use because yes. Yes. organic minerals your body can't use them it's just like the 
the calcium and the magnesium that they put into these so-called alkaline waters, your body can't use any of that stuff. And so it causes your body to literally steal those corresponding amounts of those minerals from your bones, from your organs, from wherever it needs to steal them from. And so you end up with all sorts of other issues so that you can not have heartburn. Fine, great, whatever. But what I'm curious is, is there a source? And if there is a source to be able to, because like that little cartridge, if I needed to put calcium or magnesium or whatever into that little cartridge, I don't want to be putting something like what they're putting into the uh, the bottled waters because all that's going to do right. is, is it's, it's going to have a negative effect on my body and I don't want to do that. But is there well, uh, well I can tell you, work? yeah, well, I can tell you, uh, JJ, uh, that little cartridge uh, that uh, Enagic sells, and uh, that just has calcium in it, not magnesium. Mm -hmm. Now, Enagic figured out when they first began developing these machines uh, that especially with many areas in Japan, uh, they needed to add that port on top of the machine and they needed to develop the calcium uh, that uh, you can get from them. Uh, it, because they they knew that the water was very soft and uh, they had to do something to enable the machine to work better. Um, but so what I do for people uh, in, that have soft water is I uh, custom make a filter that uh, uh, has calcium and magnesium in it. Uh, and these materials are uh, authorized uh, by the National Science Foundation and the Water Quality Association. They're the only uh, calcium and magnesium materials that are used in, in filtering, in any kind of filtering available anywhere in the world. And uh, they do wonders for the machine. Now, I have not asked you know, some of my customers to go um, and get their bodies tested for how much more the calcium and magnesium they're getting from that water. I, you know, I don't have the, the facts and figures on that uh, information, but I can say that, you know, uh, this, these materials are approved by all the Water Quality Association and National Science Foundation and there has never been a problem with them. And uh, so that is the story for people with very soft water. And uh, then um, we've, we've gone over the, the business of the hard water. Uh, and just like the uh, hard water requires e-cleaning more often, if you have soft water, you don't have to clean as often. You can you can e-clean once every couple of weeks or maybe even a little longer because that does not calcify the plates as quickly as harder water. But um, the one filter that I stress every person should have, whether they have a Kangen machine or not, is my filter that will last and is guaranteed to last for 12,000 gallons of water. And it will remove all kinds of contaminants from our municipal water or from any, any water. And we can't assume that because we get this water from our municipality that it is good and it's fine. If, if we assume that, why did we stop drinking that water and, and go to, to bottled water uh, before we learned about the Kangen water the, or the, the Kangen water? Uh, <laughs> so we, and we can't assume that, oh, well, now that I have a, a Kangen machine, uh, that must take care of all the water. I can go back to, I'm, I'm hooking it up to my tap water. I can start drinking it. Well, no, the, the Kangen machine filter only removes chlorine and maybe a little bit of lead. 
And there's a lot more things in our water than, than chlorine and lead that we should be removing. And there are many scientific studies that I have, I can show people, uh, send you if you want to look at them, uh, proving that when we, when we consume these bad things in water over a long period of time, even if, if they are in Kangen water, uh, they're going to affect our longevity and our health and, and, and everything. And then at that time, in 25 years or something, when, and we, we'll be really surprised and say, you know, well, why did this happen? I've been drinking this Kangen water all these years. Well, you have, but you haven't been removing all the bad things in the water uh, ahead, of, ahead of time. So uh, what's really nice about this filter, and uh, I have seen uh, some waters around the country that are very, very good, have, have little or no uh, bad things in them. Uh, but what makes this water a no-brainer for anybody to get is the fact that it lasts for 12,000 gallons of water, and with it in place as a pre-filter before, before the water goes into your machine, you don't have to change your machine filter for that three years. This filter is so good and so strong that you can just leave your machine filter alone and not spend all of the money that you would be spending on replacing that filter two or three times a year for those three years time. So it, it actually amounts, if you're replacing that machine filter when you should be doing it, you're amounting to saving yourself a, a little more than $800 in machine filter replacements by having this filter uh, as a pre-filter. And you can leave the Kangen machine filter in because it is antibacterial which means as long as water is coming into contact with it, you, and you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, should I leave, is it safe to leave it in? And, you know, and, and is it still gonna be okay after that time? Yes, I, my machine filter has been in my machine for four years, and my water is perfect. And of course, when you do the e-cleaning, you just take the machine filter out, set it aside, and use your e-cleaning cartridge. And then when you're done with that, put that filter back in. And what I like to tell people, which I know you, could, you can get a kick out of, JJ, is that with this set up, when and if your machine uh, buzzes and, and reminds you that it's time to change your machine filter, which it may do, all you do is walk by, press the reset button, and then cha-cha back to whatever you were doing before. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so that's what's really nice about this filter. And then, of course, you know, many people have many other problems with their water, um, uh, but everybody needs that filter everybody, even people who don't have Kangen machines, but want to drink their own tap water instead of buying the, the bottled water. And, and with this filter, the tap water in many, most areas of the country is better to drink than the, than the bottled water with, without a Kangen machine. Yeah. So, um, and, uh, uh, this uh, filter of mine, uh, this tw this twelve thousand gallon filter, I sell for two hundred and thirty five dollars in a complete kit that comes with its own dedicated faucet that you put into your sink, and uh, and all the hardware and tubing and and pieces that you need to install the filter under the sink and then you're good to go for three years. And, and you have dedicated water 
You don't have to uh, fool around with your regular kitchen sink faucet. This is your own little dedicated faucet for Kangen water or filtered water, whatever, how, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, uh, and the thing about that is that uh, after three years, uh, and you can test how this filter is working at any time by just doing a chlorine drop test on the water. If you, if you, draw some of that water and, and do the chlorine test and see there's chlorine in it, then the filter needs changing. Yes. And when, they, when that three-year period is up, or that 12,000 gallon, um, and you need to get a new, new filter cartridge, then I provide those for $125 delivered. Delivered. Now, if, if we all think about what, the, what our Kangen machine filters cost, they are $120 plus $15 in shipping. So that's $135 two or three times a year. This, this filter cartridge is $125 delivered every three years. <laughs> so. Um, it's really a good deal, and it and it does a great job. And um, like I say, um, many people have other problems which I research and come up with answers for, especially people with well waters, uh, and because those people are on their own. If you have a well, you're on your own to to figure out and do something with your own water. Um, so, um, but municipal water owners, like, like even in your small uh, white city community, um, are generally guaranteed a certain amount of filtering from the municipality before the water is delivered to you. But it still has enough things in it that, you know, if you're spending Two, three, four, five thousand dollars and more on a machine. Why, why not spend another couple of hundred dollars to make sure that the water going in the machine is the best it can be? Yes, absolutely. You know? that, so, all of this makes so much sense. And the, you know, even the Kangen machine has its filter in it. And the reason it does is because we need to get stuff out of our water before it goes into the machine. And so, uh, right. I gotta, I gotta give everybody a little bit of a plug here because, um, you know, Steely, and and you can elaborate on this too, uh, as far as the 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 fluoride scrubber, because Steely being down there in Vegas, he's got some of the worst water there is anywhere on the planet, and and so he went with the the upgraded system that has a fluoride scrubber in it too. And it's just two right. simple little filters that one is the fluoride scrubber, the other one is the is that filter. And I'm gonna let you elaborate a little bit on this after I after I finish. But you guys, this was so slick. It came with its own little diverter for the little T that has to hook into your cold water line. It came with all of its own lines. All you have to do is just push them in. You don't have to screw anything. You don't the, right. you don't even have to use any of that uh that uh that uh, tape uh, or any kind of because yeah. even yeah. the fittings are all they're all pre-taped and it's not right. pre it's something else that's in there but I looked at it and went wow sweet I don't even need any of this tape I didn't even need anything to install oh, this system. Oh, it was freaking oh. awesome man and I, I highly recommend people get it and um, you know so the installation of it was a snap it has its own dedicated faucet <laughs> and if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you, if you look at what you'll spend at, at places like Ion Faucet or, or wherever, um, like my dedicated faucet, I got it from the Home Depot and ended up costing us about 60 bucks by the time we bought all the different stuff that we needed to install it, which wasn't too bad. But hey, 
this system already comes with all of that, man. It was so slick and so easy just being able to push everything in. And so perhaps, Mike, you could go ahead and elaborate with people on the, the fluoride scrubber and, and the difference in cost between the two. And while you're doing okay. that, I am going to go to the little boy's room. I will be right back. You go ahead and keep oh, okay. Going. You let them know. Okay, that's I fine. I can still right. hear you and everything. So keep yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, what I want to say, too, about the installation of my filtering is I provide pretty good, clear uh, instructions on how to put the filtering in. And um, it they only take maybe five minutes to read through. But uh, if you're like a lot of men who don't want to read uh, things like that and think that they can do they can do it all just on their own <laughs> then you will find that it it may take you longer and and you might even have some problems um so i would advise i advise everybody to take the extra 5 minutes to read through the installation instructions cuz that will save you a lot of time and a lot of trouble. Uh, I just had a, another a old, older customer, uh, and what I mean by that is somebody who's been buying filtering from me for several years, and she bought some more for a friend or a relative that she told me her husband and the, the friend's husband was going to install, but she said she wasn't gonna be there for the installation because she was doing something else. And she was worried because she said when, when she and her husband do this, she has to be there to read and interpret the instructions to, to call out each step to, to her husband one at a time so that he can do the installation quickly and smoothly. And she was worried that since she wasn't gonna be there, she didn't know what was going to happen because he doesn't want to read any of that stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I, can, I, can, uh, so, I can relate to that because I didn't read the instructions and everything went just fine um, with yeah. the, you know, the little tip thing. And I had to cut, I didn't have to cut that off as it turns out. So I'll make sure to right. let people know right. about that in the future. <laughs> right, right. Oh, we're mad. But, we um, don't read instructions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but as far as the, the fluoride removal, uh, there has been talk uh, circulating around uh, the Kangen technology. Uh, I'm I'm sure from from the beginning, from the for 45 years, uh, about whether the Kangen machine removes the fluoride by itself through its ionization process. Or, or and, and, you know, how all of that works. And uh, I have different scientific friends who uh, uh, I have been working with for, for several years who uh, have proven to me that uh, the fluoride is not removed by the ionization process. Some of it may be removed, but not all of it. And if you learn uh, about uh, the dangers of fluoride, uh, you will understand how important it is to not get any more of it than, than you absolutely have to, especially since the fluoride that is uh, provided in the water is, a, is the worst kind of fluoride that there is. There are several different kinds and this fluoride is the worst uh, because it's dumped into the water. The municipalities allow uh, uh, tin and steel industries to just dump this in the water, and then they, they tell us that it's benefiting us and, uh, and it will help our teeth, when in fact uh, it's no good for anybody at all. And some different municipalities around the country in the last couple of years have been successful in getting their cities to take the fluoride out of their water. And so more, more cities are working on this and who knows, but, but for now, um, 
you should remove it if you're concerned about not wanting it. And if you research what uh, consuming it can do to you over the years. Uh, and so I do have a fluoride filter that I uh, usually join up with this 12,000 gallon filter that I, that I say everybody ha should have. And um, just like with your friend uh, or your brother, uh, Steely Dan, uh, Dan Collins, uh, he, he, he got the fluoride filter and most, most people around the country also get the fluoride filter because most of us have fluoride in our water. And, um, and I, I recently found a very simple test that anyone can do to see if we have fluoride in our water. And I, 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 I'm sending that test out to people to to do. It's very easy and simple, and uh, can can tell you if you have fluoride, and and can show if you run the water through the machine, is the machine removing the fluoride? This this test will will prove that. And I don't. I, as a matter of fact, I know it it doesn't. So, um, but also you know, like I say and like a, a a water filtering doctor like me should be able to do uh, and that is um you know there are many different kinds of filtering modalities that can be used to help or correct water some waters for instance some well waters are so bad that the only way to deal with them is to put that, their water through reverse osmosis first to remove all that bad stuff and then to add minerals to it afterwards or add softening agents and you know so uh, the 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 business of water filtering is can be pretty complicated and involved and should not be just taken lightly and assumed by people to be, oh, you know, oh, that's nothing. I, I, I don't worry about that. <laughs> and the thing that fools us about that is that if we have these things in our water, we don't know. We don't know that they're there. We can't smell them. We can't taste them. We can't see them. So we tell ourselves, you know, hey, I don't. I have no indication that any of that's there. I'm not going to worry about it. But that doesn't mean that it's not there because science can show you that it's there. And then you have to think about, oh, well, yeah, even though I don't see it or smell it or taste it, I, I do need to deal with it. Right. So, so as far as your fluoride scrubber for people – as far as I understand, the additional cost for the fluoride scrubber is only 90 bucks. Right, right. So for an yeah. additional $90, people can be, you know, because I'm actually incredibly blessed with our little municipality and our little water company because we don't put any chlorine, any fluoride, no chemicals of any kind into our water. If there is any mm. kind of thing like that that's getting into our water, it's because it's just naturally leaching through. Um, and I can't imagine that nature actually leaches fluoride into water, but who knows? And so that's something that I'm well, going to it do. Does. It do does. That, that test. That you can you, get natural fluoride leaching into the water, yeah. And I would imagine that if it's, if it's coming from nature, that somehow it's probably not quite as bad as the garbage that's being created by humans. And right. So, that's right. I, I, I want to do your test that, that, you know, you sent me that information and I want to give you here before we close out the show today, I want to give you the opportunity to let everybody know how they can get a hold of you. But, um, you know, we'll get to that. But the, um, you know, the, the fact that you can completely prevent this possibility for such a small amount of money. Now those fluoride cartridges, how often do those need to be replaced, Mike? Well, uh, fluoride is probably the most difficult uh, contaminant to 
there is to deal with. And science has only uh, been able to come up with a couple of ways of removing it, uh, and, but, and not for, not for uh, 12,000 gallons of water. So until uh, science can develop better ways of, of dealing with it, we have to we have to do with what we what we have to do, mm-hmm. and that is uh, my fluoride scrubber uh, filter is the best material uh, and uh, that there is, but it it may only last you know most people about six months. I recommend peop- most people change it every six months. If you have a lot of people using the water uh, or you're sharing a lot of water, then you should change it even sooner, sooner than that. Uh, And you can do this little test to see if it's gone or, 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 you know, if the uh, uh, filter is still working. Um, But if to, to put a kind of a, a gallon uh, measurement on how long it will last. For most of the fluoride that's added to waters in this country, uh, I think the the filter will last about 1,500 gallons of water. And our uh, machine filter uh, lasts about that long. So if you, you know, uh, don't do this test, or, or uh, you know, you can you can just figure on changing it every six months. Or if your uh, Kangen machine happens to tell you uh, about every fifteen hundred gallons that it's time to change the uh, filter in the machine, then that's a good way to gauge whether the fluoride filter needs changing because the machine is basically about 1500 gallons. But with the machine, like I was saying before, you just push the reset button and keep walking. But with the uh, fluoride, you, you should change it uh, to, to get rid of the fluoride. Well, I, you know, and, I love um, that, Mike, that's a great thing because having the ability to test it because like for me is today we're talking about filtration and you know, I learned from, from a guy named uh, um, Alan Matsushima who's been involved with Kong and water for a long time. He's one of their kind of one of their scientists that kind of gives a little bit of feedback and that kind of thing. I had the pleasure of meeting him two years ago down in Las Vegas at the Kong and water store down there in Las Vegas. And, and we had a bunch of discussion and he showed me some methods to be able to, to determine whether or not I needed to actually replace my machine filter or not. He told me most of his people, they can hit that reset button two to three times before they actually need to replace the filter. And so that mm-hmm. ends up saving them a lot of money because I think the, the machine and Agic, they're erring on the side of caution that, right. you know, and so the machine's going to oftentimes scream at you to replace your filter before it really needs to be replaced. And the cool part is, is that we actually have the ability to test it and find out whether we really do need to replace it. Because me, right. I've, got, I've gotten a year and a month out of both of my filters that I've had to replace in my machine. And at, the, at that month point, doing the, when the thing came back on, testing it it was like okay yep it's ready to be replaced Uh, but i got that extra time so buying that orp meter and those chlorine drops and that of course for me i don't need the chlorine drops it's the orp meter that helps me determine whether it's time or not Um, but so this test that you have when it comes to having to replace those filters because they're 90 bucks a piece and there's you know, you get maybe six months out of them. Maybe you get three months out of them. Maybe you get nine months out of them. Maybe you get a year. But being able to test it and determine, because 
some municipalities are going to put more or some are going to put right. less. And so we don't necessarily right. know that very well. But having that testing ability, I think that is fantastic. That oh, is that fantastic. is great. Everybody, that is great. everybody who watches this show, you need to learn about this testing process so you can find out whether your water has chlorine in it or, or fluoride in it because fluoride is absolutely horrible for the human body. It's, it's literally a crime that these municipalities are able to do this and put this garbage into our water, these literal poison into our water. And amazingly enough, they've been able to use science and doctors and mostly dentists to to make this happen you know it's all for your teeth you know we're going to poison you for your teeth crazy yeah. well well i want to say uh, jj if i can uh, cut in um i've i've sold several dentists uh fluoride filters for use in their own home with their own drinking water. <laughs> but I also, I also want to tell you that um, I don't want uh, your people and our, our people, now, now that I am part of the Kong family, to be, to, to be uh, misunderstood uh, by what you're saying about your machine filter lasting longer uh, because uh, the the Kangen machine and the filter are somewhat um, set to judge each person's water individually, so that like with your water, the, your reset button might not go off telling you to replace it until let's say after two thousand gallons of water. But somebody like your your uh, your uh, brother, uh, Steely Dan Collins, that has very bad water, his reset button may go off after 800 gallons only instead of the 1,500. So everybody's water is different, and that's why we can't, you know, just assume that everybody's water is the same. Right. And, 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 you know, and, 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 um, and because uh, and people assume that it's the same because they say the things that we've all said, which is, well, water is water. How you know? <laughs> how can that be different? I mean, but it can be very different. So uh, as far as testing, if the uh, uh, filter in the Kangen machine works. You most people that and 99% of the country has chlorine in their water can test it with the little five dollar bottle of chlorine drops that you can buy from Enagic, and you just t test it for the chlorine, and, and that will tell you if you need to change the filter. Yes, and I think you know that just generally, generally speaking, people should take. Uh, their the, their water filtering more seriously than they do uh, because there's a lot of bad things in the water and if you if you continue to consume it over the years it can have bad effects on you and um, so uh, I know a lot of people. Uh, tend to think, you know, when their machine warns them that it's time to change the filter, they, they sh kind of shrug it off and say, oh, oh, yeah, I'll get around to that when I get around to it. And they may not get around to it for another month or two or three. And I think, you know, if you really want to be sure that you're having the best water, the reason you got the Kangen machine in the first place is you got to make sure that the best water is going into the machine. And if your filtering is old and hasn't been changed or you don't have any filtering, then who knows what, what you got going on. Yes, amen, brother. You know, you know that's the beauty. Um, I love that you pointed that out um, in, in excess maybe because it's, it's so important. It's really important for us to be able to determine because we are all different. We all have different sources of water that we're dealing with. 
And so, like you said, our, mach our filter may last for 800 gallons. It may last for 2,000. The cool thing right. is being able to test it and find out. You know, you're not just blindly doing it because a little computer voice says, change your filter. You know, and, and right. so that's what I love is I love the, the ability to test it and make sure because I'm trying to pinch pennies. And the truth of the matter is it doesn't matter how much money I ever have in my life. I'll always be a penny pincher because that's just the way I am. I, I, I yeah. want value for what I buy, no matter what it is, whether it's getting a steak at a restaurant or whether it's buying a water filter. I want value out of what I buy. And I want to be able right. to know whether I'm getting value or not. And so that's what I love so much about what you're doing. And and I wanna I wanna make sure that that when uh, when this show is over with and we get everybody the information about it and all that and and the continuing discussion that happens as time goes by, I want to make sure everybody has this this information about this uh, fluoride testing so they can find out whether their fluoride filter is working. So they can also, for somebody like me, who my municipality has assured me that I do not have any fluoride or any chlorine or anything else in my water. We put nothing in it. That's what he told me. He's the guy that runs the place. And um, I want to be able to make sure of that. So I'm looking forward to, to taking the time to run that test and find out what's going on in my machine and just making sure. It's just a good thing to be able to be sure about what it is you're doing, whatever it is. And, and this is just another awesome way for our people, for the family to be able to make sure that they're getting the best water into their system. Because keep in mind, kids, you guys are spending a lot of money on this machine. I never drank water before I bought my conga machine. I really never drank water. I figured I get my water from, uh, from whiskey, I get it from Gatorade, I get it from Coke, I get it from Sprite, I get it from, you know, the only time I ever drank water was when I was on a river trip or when I was sick. And uh, I didn't, I didn't care, I didn't know. Um, but, but knowing it now changes everything. And, and I want, you know, once I spent $4,000 on a Kong and water machine, I was like, I just spent 4,000 bucks, by golly, I'm going to start drinking the water, you know, and so <laughs> I did, and, and so I hope that people that are like me that don't drink water now, and then they all of a sudden come to the understanding of, of number one, that water is not just water, and, and number two, it's, it's like the main component of everything that takes place in the human body, it's 75% of the equation at, at least. And, and so the, the water that you put into your body does indeed matter. And once you come to that understanding, then all of it kind of comes together and you, and you realize, oh, man, wow, I wish I would have known this a long time ago. And, and, well, once and you... uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to uh, cut in, uh, That's JJ. That's all right, brother. You, you rock and roll, man. Let it rip. Uh, well, I just want to say, um, especially for the new people, who um, e either are considering getting a machine or have only had a machine for a short time or uh, uh, whatever, um, I'm sure many of us at, at one point or, or another have asked ourselves and asked uh, maybe our upline or, or the Enagic office, um, you know, why why don't why don't we have a better filter in our machine? And uh, the reason for that is that because waters can be so different and need so many different kinds of things, uh, Enagic can't make a filter to handle all of those, and they 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 try to keep the machine as as compact as possible. So they, they don't make the machine to handle two filters or three filters, which some waters need. So they make the, the filter to remove the chlorine, which 99% of us have. And then they, they tell us 
that depending on whatever else we may need, we, we have to research that and get that on our own. And so that's the reason uh, for, for the Kangen uh, machine filter not being able to do all the things that some of these other filters do. Awesome. Yeah, you know, and, and I, I think that's, you know, heck, we, we can't take everything out and have it in that little tiny lightning bolt in a box. I mean, we got we to gotta do Ooh. what we got to do, right? And I love what your system does. I, I'm going to be highly recommending it to everybody as time goes by. And in fact, um, a lovely angel genie just jumped in the house, Rachel Ritchie. She's our resident Hi. family genie. And Rachel... Oh. I know that Rachel has a well, and she's up oh. in Canada, and so I think oh. it's perfect that she jumped in here. Rachel, jump in. Um, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good morning. What? what oh, uh, hi. What have you have you gotten any? Have you been able to be in here, Rachel? So you can, because I know that that Rachel and I have been talking. I've been telling her to get all of you, and that kind of thing, but. Rachel, since how you're here right now, why don't you rock your video and uh, and ask Mike a question or or whatever? I mean, what what's up? You want to get yourself a filter or something, don't you? There you go. Hello, are. Um, I did. I actually just got a new filter. I put the new one in yesterday again because oh. this is what I think this is the second filter since I've had the machine or the third filter the original and then I got two more replacements so I was um I'm just wondering because of my well water um is there like a test that I could do that's more like thorough that I could do on it rather than just the ORP like I've been doing the ORP test and I did notice a big difference compared to before like I did the ORP test right before I did the cleaning and then I did it after too so there is quite a difference um, oh. but yeah I was just well, wondering um, like, well I can tell you Rachel um, and uh, I'm glad you're you're asking you're bringing this up um, anybody that is on well water should test their water and uh, do, uh, you know, I, I work with a lab that's up in uh, Washington State, uh, just over the border from you guys, um, uh, who does a series of tests, uh, uh, the, the kinds of tests that we need to know in order to know how to deal with your water, to, to, to deal with any well water. And this test is $100. You basically uh, send them, they send you a sample bottle and you take a sample of your water and send it back to them and they test it. And then they send you the results. And then uh, you send those to me, you email them or, Facebook them to me, and then I see what you need and tell you what you need. And uh, so um, that's what I recommend to everybody with a well, because you just don't know when you're on a well, you're on your own. And you can't assume anything. You see, when you're on municipal water, you can assume a certain uh, amount of things because the, the city or the municipality takes care of basically handling your water. But some, some well waters I've seen have been so bad, I've, I've almost told the people not to, not to use the water. But some well waters are so good that it's, that's amazing also. But we don't know those things until we test the water. So that's, I can, uh, if you want to um, message me on Facebook, I'm, I'm sure you're on Facebook, right? If you want to message me, uh, then I'll send you the link to for the test, and uh, then you can do that, and uh, and then you'll know for sure. And you keep those test results, and there's no more guessing. You know, the people who 
think they're going to save money by uh, using guesswork uh, are just not not uh, doing things the, the best way, especially when we, like I say, we're spending two, three, four, five thousand dollars and more on a machine, and and now we 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 feel like we can't spend another hundred dollars or two hundred dollars or something. I mean, come on. So, so like I say, message me and then I'll send you that link, and you you can go online and sign up for the test, and you'll see everything. You'll see okay. everything. Yeah. Um, I do know, like, there's a large property where I live, and there's other people on the property that use have the same well, and some of them choose to drink it. We just choose not to. Um, oh. It wasn't recommended when we moved in. So um, once we got the machine, just the water's like night and day. So <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, oh. I want to know if there's any other contaminants that we're missing, right? Because we are consuming well. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you should test it. Anybody yeah. should test it. And then um, if you find there are bad things in it, then you can go to your neighbors who are drinking the water, and and that will be that much more of a reason for them to not only get a Kangen machine from you, mm -hmm. but also get the, get the filtering, too. You can prove to them. You can show them and say, okay, you you do what you want, but yeah. I'm, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what you're actually drinking. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I know. Just love yeah. That. that is yeah. so, perfect. yeah. <laughs> so, hey, real quick, you guys, um, Corolla, you're up there in Canada too. Do you have anything that, uh, that you want to ask Mike while you're in here? Because I'm, I'm guessing that Roger's with you as well. Do you guys have anything that you want to ask about this, uh, this filter system that Mike? has do you want to get your water tested or anything yeah sure like uh, we were just hopping on a couple minutes ago so um that would be nice right yeah yeah so what one thing we're going to make sure to do here is here, here in a couple of minutes because i know mike's got to get moving he's got another another entity that he's got to deal with today and so do i and i'm sure we all do whatever you know it's a it's a beautiful Sunday. We got to go get to work and get things rolling. Um, but I'm going to give Mike the opportunity to give out all of his information here in a second. But um, Rachel, I just wanted to mention something to you, and just in case you didn't already catch it, um, this filter system of Mike's is freaking awesome. It uh, it's simple. It's easy. It comes with its own spout. Um, you know, the, I know that the Ion Faucet people sell these additional spouts for like a hundred and some odd dollars. And this comes right. right along with your filter. It's a freaking awesome deal that the, 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 it comes with its own little T valve that hooks into your cold water. All of the plugins, you just push them in. You don't have to screw anything. Mm. Just push them in and they freaking, it's so sweet. It is a really sweet system. I highly recommend it. It's good for 12,000 gallons on the regular side. And then if you decide to go with a fluoride scrubber, you know, that thing will, you know, last three, six, nine months, who knows. But there is a test available to be able to determine whether you need to replace it or not. When you do need to replace it, it's a whopping 90 bucks. Um, but to, to be able to guarantee that you're not going to get any, you're not going to have fluoride in your system, I think it's very much worth that because that stuff is so dang poisonous that it's literally criminal that they're able to put it in our water, that they're able to get away with that nonsense. But that's another story for another time for, uh, you know, another battle that we have to face as time goes by. But uh, yeah, Mike, I, one of the things that I really love to do here on the Kong Family Show is I'm, I'm trying to unite people. I'm trying to get people who, who have like minds and like hearts to work with each other. And we never know who's gonna resonate with who. We never know who is gonna to wanna to work with who. And for me, my thing is, I just wanna get Kong and Water out there to the world. I don't care who they buy their machines from, just that they buy them, that they use them, that they share the word, that they help us change the world, because that's what we're doing. But Mike, there's probably gonna be a lot of people that as they see this recording, 
that they're going to be interested in filtering their water. They're going to be interested in getting a hold of the filter dock. They're going to be interested in, uh, you know, having the best water going into their machines that they can get. And so um, for people that are going to friend up with Mike, if they're going to send him an email, they're going to friend up on Facebook or anything like that, please do him the common courtesy of letting him know why you're sending him that friend request. Don't just send him a friend request. I'm so sick of getting friend requests from people and they don't tell me why. And I have to spend time asking them why, because if you send me a friend request and you don't tell me why, you're not going to get, I'm not going to just say, you know, accept request. It's not going to happen. I got to know why in the hell you're trying to get a hold of me. So with all that said, if you send out a friend request to Mike, if you send him an email, if you send him whatever you're sending him, please do him the common courtesy of letting him know why, how you found him and why you're calling him, why you're texting him, why you're messaging him. And with that well, said, let me, let, let me interject. Know. Let me interject, uh, JJ. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I don't know if you're aware, you can just go on a person's page and send them a message. Now, if, since you're not friends with them, he, they won't automatically get that message, but in their, uh, on messenger, messenger will notify them that there's somebody new that they don't know who's sending them a message and do you want to check it out and see what this is and then of course you open it and read the message and then you tell messenger whether you want to respond to it or or whether you want to delete it or whatever so that might even be better than sending a friend request because your message can re can say you know hey mike yeah, I, I i'm interested in the filtering can you contact me or whatever and then then that, you know, so you can do that or, or the, the friend request too, you know. Yes, absolutely. And what I always recommend to people, and this is what I do personally, anytime I send a friend request to somebody, I send them a friend request and then I immediately send them a message and I tell them, hi, Joe, hi, Bob, hey, George, this is JJ Surprise. I ran into you on this page or that page or I, I saw your comment, I saw your post and, and I'm reaching out to you for this reason. That's what I do. I consider it to be a matter of, of just being courteous to people and letting them know who I am and why the heck I'm bothering them. And uh, so that's the way I consider it. It's like, hey, man, I'm stepping into their bounds. I might as well let them know why. And so for everybody that's seeing this uh, down the road, days, weeks, months, years from now, if you're going to get a hold of Mike, just just get a hold of him, send him a request or a message. Either way, make sure you message him and let him know why. And with all that said, Mike, how do people get a hold of the filter doc? How do they become a well, patient? <laughs> the best way, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the easiest way to convey that here uh, on, on video without uh, having the, a written word, without being able to write down my email address and uh, is just to give you my phone number and tell you to call me and if you of course if you don't reach me leave me a message telling me wh who you are and what you're calling about like like you normally would do anyway and then i can and, and in your message leave me your email address uh, uh, and, uh, and then I can get back to you and, and, and take it from there. So, um, that phone number would be 847-298-9369. So that's 847-298-9369. Of course, you can look me up on uh, Facebook, uh, but you have to have the correct spelling of my name. And so rather than, I don't know, going into all that stuff, um, JJ, you know, I can put myself, I'll put myself on the Kong family page for people to go to to get 
my information also. Um, and then I think the easiest way to tell you how to get a hold of me now uh, in this video is just to call that phone number and, 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 and leave me a message and leave me your email address because as much as, you know, uh, a lot of people need to handle things talking on the phone, uh, with this filtering business, uh, talking at least in the early stages of figuring out your water doesn't really do any good and is, you know, to me, it's a little bit of a waste of time. Uh, so uh, that's why I send people proof uh, of in files that they can actually see and read and print out and keep to prove the things that, that, that could not be proved just in conversation. And so uh, also the email uh, 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 exchanging between us um, is also because in order for me to see what's in your water, I need to know where you live, what your town is, and what your state, or, or where in Canada, uh, and your and even your zip code, because then with that information, I can look up your water and see your water online. And then after seeing that, then we can talk. Then we can talk. Uh, but until that point, there's really nothing to talk about. I can't give you any answers about what you need or anything until I see your water. So, um, so like I say, if you call and uh, leave a message, just leave me. Also, leave me your email, and uh, and then if, you know, even leave your your town, your state, and your zip code, and then I can get going right on that and then get back to you with some answers right away. Amen. So there you have it, kids. We have Mike Scheiber, S-C-H-I-E-B-E-R. If you want to hook up with him on Facebook, make sure to send him a message telling him why. And just let him know you saw him on the Kong Family Show and that you want to talk to him about getting some good filtration because the truth of the matter is, kids, that this guy – He's, he's the best in the business. Um, the way I ran into him, I talked about it at the beginning of the show, but ultimately, you know, my, my partner, um, he, he has done a lot of research and, and he assured me that Mike is the best. He's, he's been able to help my, my partner with things that nobody else could help with. And so that's why I feel comfortable with him. That's why I'm so happy to get him on the show today to come and elaborate about what he's doing and give some people some solid information that they can work with. I think it's, uh, it's very important. You know, why be guessing? Why be wondering? Why not just know what's happening? And, and this is a great way to make it happen. And so, you know, as usual, the Kong family show is so blessed that every day we get to have incredible people coming on here, sharing awesome wisdom, awesome advice, awesome things that can help make all of our lives better and help us with our mission of changing the world. Because we are the Kong family. We are here to change the world. We are changing the world. We're doing it. One glass of 9.5, hydrogen rich, oxygen saturated, incredibly hydrating, 9.5 water at a time. One amazing guest, one incredible family. One awesome <laughs> filtration system at a time. We need to get the garbage out of our water, kids. It's super important. It is everything. Water is everything. And Kong's electrolyzed reduced water is even more than that. And so we are so blessed and so excited to be here. Rachel, thanks for coming in. I hope that, that this helped you for being able to figure out your situation up there. I think Mike gave, gave you a great golden nugget 
as to how to maybe work with your neighbors and see if you can, <laughs> you can uh, change some more lives that way. I think that's going to be awesome. And Carola and Roger, thanks for being here. Um, get a hold of Mike if you have any questions about your water. This is the man. This is where you want to go. This is where I'm going to be going. This is where I'm going to be sending all my people that have these issues. And I think that, uh, quite frankly, we all have these issues. We just don't know about it. And just because someone has a well doesn't mean that they have good water. They might have some of the worst water. We don't know. How about we find out? What a great concept. You know, what, what a great concept, brother. So, Mike, thank you so much once again for taking your precious time to come and grace the Kong Family Show and give all this great information out that people can utilize. And, um, you know, as usual, do not forget your hugs, kids. Do not forget your <laughs> hugs and your <laughs> Have a great day. Go out and change the world today, kids. Make it a great one. Change the world, starting with your own. And uh, thank you once again for coming in hot on the Khan Family Show. Look forward to having you again soon. If you ever come up with any information that you'd like to share with the family, just let me know so we can get you back on for another one of these episodes so that you can yeah. share the magic with the family. That's what this is all about. It's about sharing the magic of true health, true wealth, and love. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Have yourselves an awesome day, and we'll see you on the next go-round. Thanks again, Mike. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Hey, I have one question before we head out. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mike, I just wondered, what do you do with your old filters, like the ones that actually go inside the machine? Oh, I just uh, recycle them, you know, okay. uh, because, you know, they're plastic and so they're yeah. recyclable and, and um, so that's, I, I just do that. You know. Okay. Because I have two of them here and I'm and, like, what do I do with these? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. and see with my 12,000 gallon filter uh, ahead of the machine, I, I I don't have many machine filters. The one I have in my machine now has been in there for four years. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's really so, awesome. So I don't have much of a problem of getting rid of them because no. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's only a, every few years that I need to think about that. You know? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's one All of right. the great things about this, Rachel, and that I'm yeah. why I'm going to be – putting this out there on a consistent basis to everybody is yeah. that, you know, it's going to save you a grundle of money on filters for your Kong and water machine. You know, you know, an adjic might have a problem with that, whatever it's up, you know, it's our job to do whatever we want for our source water that's coming in. So if yeah, they, for if sure. Not about this because we're letting people know that they can actually utilize this pre-filter system that will save them and make it so they don't have to buy filters. Hey, you know, that's, that's our gig. That has nothing to do with what they're doing. And the simple fact of the matter is, is their machine or filter in their machine, it doesn't take everything out. And their filters that they sell aren't as good as these filters. And so, hey, we're here to give our people the best. That's all we want. We want to give them the best. And if we get that from the filter doc or we get it from Magic or we get it from whoever, I don't care. I just want the best. I want the best. Really? For I want the best for my family. I want the best for the Kong family. That's why I do what I do. That's why I yeah. share all the tricks that I share. Everything that we do here is all for the benefit of the family and our families. And so, you know, once again, Mike, thank you so much for being here. Rachel, I hope, I hope that this helped with your yeah, situation for sure. you're going through up there. And I'm quite sure that Mike will be able to help you out and save you a bunch of money in the long run. And so, you know, that's what it's all about, kids. Love yeah, I'm on so third fil filter in one year. So, yeah. Yes. So, oh, yeah, I can, I can help you, Rachel. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right, kids. Love you. All right. Love you. Have, a good, have a good day. <laughs> Thanks again, Mike. Okay. Love okay. You. Rachel, you can be my new patient.
<laughs> you will yep. be my new patient. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Have a great one. All right. Okay. We'll see you later.